What's up everyone, welcome to my Mighty Ducks Game Changers Review Episode 1. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. It does help out the channel. Alright, so if you're going to go watch into this thinking it's going to be like Cobra Kai, where they do a really good job of paying homage to something that was you know, so vintage and so great, you're going to be let down. Okay, this is a very, 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 very kid-friendly uh, show. It's very, very Disney. If you're a massive fan of the Mighty Ducks, like I was as a very young kid, I think you might not enjoy this. Now, I did somewhat enjoy it. Halfway through, I started to enjoy it. It does kind of bring out the kid in you. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't really, you know, yes, we got Coach Bombay in it. Hopefully, we get some OG original cast members in it. Uh, but this first episode is pretty much all about setting up the team. Um, you know, uh, what's his name? Evan gets dropped from the team, gets, you know, tells, don't bother. Don't don't bother playing hockey. If you can't be playing good at this age, then you shouldn't be playing. The mum's, you know, upset about that. And she decides to make a team. She decides to make a team with the kids. The only problem is they need an ice ring. They need uh, six players and they need a coach. They've got three days to find all of that. So the mum goes shopping around, trying to find an ice ring. She eventually leads her way to Coach Bombay. And yeah, he, he signs over the deal to be, you know, for them to use the ice ring because he's struggling for money and she's got a way that the government can pay for, for the ice ring. So um, she, yeah, he signs up. She sees a post, a uh, picture frame of him used to be a player. Um, the Miracle Minnesota, Minnesota man, was it? Uh, so, yes, yeah, she asks him to be the coach, and he refuses to be the coach. He doesn't like kids, doesn't like hockey. So um, eventually, I hope we find out why he's all of a sudden hate hockey, hate coaching. Maybe the old school guys might come in and, and explain that. Um, so, yeah, they can't convince him to be become the coach, but he does let him use the ice ring. So then the mum decides that she's going to be the, the, the coach, and she names the team the Don't Bothers. Uh, it's now a full contact sport, so the kids are a bit scared. Um, but yeah, at, at the end, so I'm going to call it, right? I'm going to call everything, right? Because at the end, Alex needs to prove that she can skate. So she skates for Coach Gordon Bombay and, you know, he plays a little love song. So she does a figure eight skating kind of dancing routine to it. The kids are waving their phone. Like there is some cheesy, cheesy stuff in it. That So like I said, it's a very, very, very kid-friendly show. But I'm going to call it the mum is going to get with Coach Bombay. Bombay is going to coach the kids and then... Um, the kids are going to become the new Mighty Ducks, right? They're going to win. I don't know. That That's just what I feel is going to happen. Uh, I'm just going to go over a couple of the characters. Uh, Evan, who is obviously the main lead, I would say. He's the kid that got told don't bother and the kid that's trying to bring the team together. And he's his little mate, Nick, the podcast kid. Oh, man, the kid is classic. He's got a good... Um, He's got a good career ahead of him, that young kid. He, being this funny at that age, I really do think he's got a good career. Then there's obviously Lauren that a lot of people can relate to. You know, they'll be the magic card geek, and she's just, you know, very geeky, and I enjoy her. The cheerleading girl, we didn't really get her name. She's obviously sick of being a cheerleader and all this pressure because Evan does give this big spill about, you know, just being what you want to be, be who you want to be, let go of, you know, all the pressure and that. So this cheerleader girl obviously doesn't like cheerleading, so the, but the problem is she can't skate on that. Uh, there's the kid Sam who just he does any dares. This is what I used to be like when I was young. Can you dare me to do something? I'm gonna do it, man. And this kid Sam, who I feel might be outside of Nick the podcast kid, I really feel that Sam's gonna be my favorite character. I'm sure they're gonna be like, I dare you to go and smash him into the wall just so that he does the things. But yeah, he, he's gonna be a good character. And then there's a Cooper th Cooper 13, I think was his name. He, he's a massive, you know, he's one of the online geniuses you know the best players of the game that's how they find him and they go hunt him down to sign him up just so happens to be he's in the same area as them but he ends up being their goalie which kind of looks like goldberg as well which was pretty cool and then uh there's the logan the pretty boy who just had the 900 hundred dollar skates he has all the gear he pretty you know that guy that goes to your your football or your soccer or your cricket or whatever sport you play training and they dress up in the full mount gear and then they end up being shite that was this kid, uh, Logan, the little pretty boy that just looks, this dresses and looks apart. I like that they done that because, you know, a lot of people do, <laughs> do do that. I'll admit, when I used to play Australian football, I used to dress the part at training and I used to be hopeless. Basketball, bang, any day of the week. But uh, yeah, it, it was a solid episode. I'm going to give this a rating of probably a four. Um, again, I do like to let my reviews breathe uh, at the end you know i'll give a, a proper end score i'm only giving it a four just because it is very 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 kid friendly 
Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy it? Uh, have you watched it? Did you feel it was too kitty for you? Are you going to continue to watch it? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your your uh, answers. And if you haven't done so, jump over to my Instagram at Talking Pop Culture. I review comics that I read every week. I review other shows and movies. Just little short, brief ones. So head over there and give that a follow. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It does help out a lot. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I just did a giveaway on my Instagram for 1,000 followers. So once we hit 500 subscribers here, I will do a giveaway. I do wish I could send you guys some comics and toys and all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, the costing is ridiculous to send it international. Because uh, a lot of my followers on Instagram are international. So I just did a $25 Amazon gift card, which I might do the same for 500 subscribers. We'll see what happens. But please, guys, hit the subscribe button. Give the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Peace.